Alright, Rakette89 here. We're gonna start off with a little Darkest Dungeon. I figured Friday the 13th might as well play something kind of spooky. And I really don't have any real horror games. This is probably the next best thing. So we're just gonna delete that and start fresh. Dark. It's the only thing I don't like about this is the naming for the files is really kind of off. Alright, so basically what this is, it's like a dungeon crawler, team builder, horror, very Cthulhu-esque. We'll it's a lot of making sure you get through, but also making sure that your guys don't die horrible, horrible deaths. It's really the second part that's a lot harder. There's a lot to manage. So you have all different classes. It's always going to start you off with the same two, though. We're going to start off with these guys. Map, yeah, I know how to navigate the room. Brigands have run up these lands. So this is basically how it goes. You go into a dungeon. You explore. Things will happen. In this case, it's always going to be a monster right here. So there's also, you can have up to four people in your party, and all of your moves are dependent on where you are and where the enemy is. So it really kind of limits for this group, at least. So we're just going to stab him. And that's good. Alright. That may seem easy, but... Trust me, there's a lot of ways that could go wrong. It's all pretty randomized, and you're more likely to have something horrible happen to you than you are to have something good. And this is where it gets fun. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. So we got Dismas, our highwayman. He's better for hitting people further in the back. And we definitely want to take out that musket guy, because he's just really obnoxious. And our crusader here is really only good against the front two people. But because this guy is so big, he occupies those two spots. So he's literally the only target for our crusader. But that's... Ah, oh, yes. Ah, right there. Another dangerous part of this game is uh, stress. Your, your characters will get stressed as they adventure. Happens just from walking around, and a lot of enemies have it too. Or moves that will inflict stress. Uh, when this bar fills up to 100... <laughs> uh, your character starts freaking out and there's a chance you'll either get an affliction or a virtue I would love to say it's 50-50 but it's more likely to get an affliction which are horrible horrible things to have it goes from like paranoia to where they'll just not be able to act or there's one, I think, like, masochist, <laughs> where they basically just beg the enemy to hit them. Which, as you can imagine, is a horrible thing for your characters. So we got through that. Prologue's kind of easy. There's still ways for it to get screwed up. Nah. Uh. And your characters all have personality traits. And you'll gain some as you finish levels. So, our Crusader now, Renold. He'll do 15% extra damage in the Warren's dungeon. Alright, that's not terrible. Now, the red ones are negative effects, the yellow ones are more positive effects. Some of the negative effects are, well, really really bad this 
Just an intense craving for alcohol. That's not too bad. Makes up for it. Quick draw more than makes up for it. So he'll more likely be able to get the first shot off in combat. Welcome home, such as it is. Ah, uh, yes, home. Hamlet, these corrupted lands. They are yours now, and you are bound to them. Ah, uh, that's lovely. Yeah. All right. So first things first. Let me check some stuff out. In time, you will know the tragic extent. This is just for rewatching cinematics, but also as you complete different parts of the game, you'll unlock new cinematics to watch, which gives you some history on what is going on. And basically what's going on is we're a descendant of this guy who done did goof, dug beneath our ancestral home, and uncovered what is called the Darkest Dungeon. It's basically, uh, the best way to put it would be like a portal to hell. Most will end up here. <laughs> in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Yeah, th that's the voice of the ancestor that pops up every time we check something out. But, yeah, any hero that dies will show up here, and they will die. We'll try to avoid it as much as possible, but it's gonna happen. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Do that, do that. So stagecoach is how you get new characters. It all it for the beginning it'll always give you these two. Which is fine, because those are good. But we upgrade it so next time when we finish dungeon there'll be three people we can check from, and this just increases the roster size. Which is over here. It's not a big deal right now, but I like to do it when I can. So we can also check on all of our heroes. Yes, I know. I'll get to it. Alright, so... I'll get into the stress relief when it becomes available. Because it's not really relevant right now, but that's a horrible quirk to have. Like the tent you saw earlier, you can investigate that and sometimes get them. Sometimes he will investigate them on his own, but I won't get the items for use in my inventory. They'll just go right to him, and they effectively just disappear into nothing. Let's do a quick reflex. Yeah, this guy's just all about the speed. Alright, that. So he's really got nothing. Horrible quirks scattering. Oh, that's not good at all for him. That plague doctors basically just have like poisons. They have a knife they can use, but it's not very effective. Battlefield medicine's pretty good. Uh, but if he's got that quirk, then he's really just kind of. Because all of his ranged attacks are already. As they got a little damage mod minus 80% so he's really doing minus 85 with that and what we got here all right she only has the single target here not terrible but I've had worse all right Omega question yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Your work begins. So this is where you select where we go. This is the actual darkest dungeon that's below your estate. As you see, level. Here you have everyone's levels. That's the minimum to survive that place. And considering that nobody here is anywhere near that. I mean, we'll probably take a dip in there once we get some more people just to see how horrible it is but for now we're just gonna go here uh, uh, let's... yeah so up here it'll show you 
like his preferred position would be one of the back two. And since oh, she's pretty limited, so this would be the optimal setup. So what are we doing? Explore 90% of rooms. Easy peasy. The cost of preparedness. And then it takes you to a shop. And we got our gold down here. In blood. We're gonna need food. Uh, two shovels. You'll encounter obstacles. You need shovels to get by them. Keys. Torches. All the torches. Do a couple of those. One of those. That should be good. First expedition into the ruins of your ancestry. Be curious. Be careful. Mostly be careful. Yeah, that just showing us how to bring up the status. So here we have the map. So we just gotta explore 90% of that. So we can just do... So we can ignore that little corner room. Or that corner room. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. We're just gonna start going. Up here... Is our light. Light is so important. Because it keeps stress down. As we walk, you see they gain stress. Also increases that. The more light we have, the more likely monsters are to be surprised, which means that it's not they will still get a turn, but they have to go after all of my guys. We focus one down at a time. Ah, yes. And when people die, there's a corpse left behind, so... It will hinder things. It's like if there were people behind, they wouldn't move up until that corpse is gone. Killing them with, uh, blight, which, you know, poison, or... Bleeding. Unlock strongbox. Alright. Ooh, what's this? Waiting to be spent. Uh, journal page. T Trample journal, four out of four. I am become vengeance. All cultists will feel my maze, begin to fear my roar. I, I am outnumbered, tis true. I am starved and half mad. I would probably say more than half. But as long as there is breath in my body, I will press on. And I will wreck on bearable agony on those who seek to despoil my great ma mans? Sure. And now they come. I douse my torch. I do not fear the darkness. This is my house and woe to the uninvited. Yeah. Definitely more than half mad there, buddy. That's cool. I've never actually gotten one of those before. I don't know if that's new or if I'm just incredibly unlucky. Uh, I don't know about part of me wants to equip that because more HP is nice but minus 6% death blow resist and death blow is when your characters hit 0 HP they're not dead right away they go to death's door and you can heal them to bring them off but if they hit, hit again there's a chance they'll die but there's a chance they won't so minus 6% death blow resist means that there's more likely that he'll die when he gets hit. So, what's everyone's HP? Let's start with that. Next HP, 22, 24, 23, 33. Uh, we'll just hang on to it for now. We're not in dire need of extra. This is stuff we need shovels for. Seems bent on preventing passage. Ooh. Ah. Oh. These guys in the back. 
die first. They are massive sources of stress. Which is stressful to me. <sighs> what do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah. Try and stun him. Yes. Uh, we'll kill you. Executed with impunity. It's always critical hits and killing things have. Well, I don't know if there's actually like a. Oh, thank God. It'll reduce the stress of your heroes most likely, which is good because the less stress they have, the less likely they are to go cuckoo crazy. And the more adventures we can bring them on. And he's dying. So, Patrick. Yes. Critical heals are the best thing in this game. Another abomination cleansed from our land. Man, he's whacking them. Ah. Uh, and that's why I like trying to kill them first. Because, uh,. Not only, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does so much stress, and it douses my torch a little bit. Uh, but the enemy a gunshot usually takes care of most things. Alright. Uh, scouting, yeah, show me. Um... Yeah, I want the treasure. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking. What do we got? Oh, I don't even have abominations yet. That's really good, though. A lot of accessories usually have a negative side effect to them. So when you see one that doesn't, it's usually a good sign to just use it. Alright. What do we got? What do we got? Ah, easy peasy. Boop you with the bullet. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll try to stun you again. Yes. Ah. All right. This is okay. We're fine. That hurt. We're still good. Try to brighten things up a little. Yes, I know my hero is bleeding. I can see the blood. Thwap. Uh, yeah, we'll just try to blight her. Perfect. Ooh. This is no less good. Ah, come on. Stop it. Alright. See, it can't always be horrible. Just most of the time. I will heal him. I will slap you with the sword. There we go. Nothing to it. Uh, bandages. Yeah, I'll pop a torch now. How are we on health? 15 out of 24. Yeah, we're okay. A hidden compartment. What do we got? Oh, grave digger only. Well, that'd be cool if I had a grave digger. Wait, did he dodge it or? All right, we'll just keep on keeping on then. Ah, that's what I was talking about. Finding the stuff is only the first test. No, now it must be carried home. Lost stuff. Why you do this to me, man? 
Yeah. That's why we bring food along. An obstacle. From Battle of Treasure. Alright. So as far as uh, expeditions go, this is pretty easy. Probably shouldn't have said that, because it's going to backfire horribly in this room now. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Well, let's find out. Uh, that guy right there with the goblet. That's another... Pretty much just does stress damage. Which is never, ever, ever good. So we're gonna... I'm not gonna be able to kill him. But that's okay. We'll just kill his friend instead. <gasps> I'm sorry. I didn't know he was that good of a friend. Don't do it. Don't. Uh. Upsetting. God, man, you just don't want to get anything. Oh, that's what you get. Give them no quarter. Don't do it. Uh, ah. Alright, so that's not good. That's alright. We'll, we can bounce back from this. We'll just swippity swap them. Stop it. Light him up. Patch you up. Yeah. These guys are annoying. They got a lot of protection on them. Just right down there. 25%. So he takes 25% less damage. Which, as you can imagine, it's kind of annoying. Especially when he stuns my best damage dealer. Aha. Yeah, so we'll just blast him with some holy. Success so clearly in view. No, no, no. We are gonna open that chest before we leave. Trick of the light. Hidden compartment. Hidden. Ah. Um. Get rid of those. Because uh. Those, the crest, the bus, all those, they're used for upgrading my hamlet, which is really useful. So I always seem to get so many deeds. Actually, crests are usually the ones I end up with a ridiculous surplus of. Oh, that's just funny. So last time he got damage up in the Warrens, and now he's getting stress up in the Warrens. So I can't tell if he likes the Warrens or not. Balance, 15 move resist, that's always good. Fear of mankind. It's kind of bad. Alright. That's good, I guess. We dug for months. Years, an eternity. And yeah, that doesn't help me. I don't have the sanitarium yet. All right, so now we unlock some of the stress stuff. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and. So because of alive. some of our guys got really stressed out back in the dungeon, it's probably not a good idea to bring them along because they're really close to going crazy. So you bring them to the tavern or the abbey. They have the stuff for stress release here. The pews set straight. I don't know if it actually matters because crusaders are religious types, but... Well... Alright. 